What is good YouTube, Watch you here. If you're into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Avengers Infinity War, this is the channel for you. So by now, you should have had the chance to go watch the movie a bunch of times or at least once. If you haven't, this video will actually ruin a lot for you. So maybe click away and come back once, you, once you've watched it. So we're gonna talk about Avengers Infinity War of who actually died because there's a lot of confusion with what the ending actually means so the people who actually 100% died were sadly Loki was killed he was killed because he tried to kill Thanos basically I don't think Thanos was going to kill him but he said he wanted to join the, the, the Black Order then he tried to kill him with a knife which was pretty stupid seeing as he had the power stone and Thanos is OP without any of the gems and he already had the power stone. So that was a bit weird for Loki to try and kill him in that context. But then at the same point, we don't really know if that was really Loki or if it was a kind of manipulation scene. So we're unsure. But Heimdall's 100% dead. Heimdall opened the Bifrost for Hulk and sent Hulk down to Earth to warn everyone that Thanos is coming. Although it was a good thing to do, they've literally turned Bruce Banner's role into a man-child, into an absolute joke the Hulk character is amazing but Bruce Banner in Infinity War was an absolute joke he's meant to be a scientist yet he didn't speak any kind of scientist language any kind of equations I mean even with Shiri Shiri made him look like an idiot but to be honest anyone can make him look like an idiot now and the most emotional attachment we had was with Gamora Gamora obviously she's such a vital part to Gardens of the Galaxy 1 and 2 but don't worry guys She's going to be back. She, The actress that plays Gamora said she actually filmed some scenes for Avengers 4. So she's definitely going to be back. So the twist was, and we kind of called it, well, we didn't call it. So the Red Skull, when he was last seen, he touched the Tazerac and then he was sent to where the soul stone is he was essentially turned into death he was the protector it was his curse he had to stay there he couldn't wield the soul stone so essentially when he touched the tazarak he was sent like the bifrost it almost looked like the bifrost he was sent to the soul world so he was the protector of the soul world although this channel wasn't right we did say that red skull would return in infinity war and don't worry guys i will link that video at the end of this for confirmation so what happened was the Thanos theory was actually right that H did have to stand for something like uh, the, the time stone N standing for the necklace and you know the famous Thanos theory. So H could stand for heart, it could stand for Hydra because obviously Red Skull was part of Hydra. So what happened was Thanos had to give up something he loved. He had to kill Gamora and send her into the soul world. Although she's not really dead, she's in the soul world, we believe, because I've, I've seen a bunch of videos about people explaining the soul world, but let's be honest, guys, it's not the comic books. No one really knows how the soul world works in the MCU. People are just spitballing from the comic books, so we've got no idea what's really going on. So Gamora is stuck in the soul world. She's not technically dead, in my opinion. So Vision is 100% dead, because what happened was Scarlet Witch removed the gem, then Thanos just reverse time a couple of seconds and then he took the mind stone from him so vision is dead yes of course all these characters could return but realistically i don't think they're going to reverse the timeline that far back to save loki and save heindel unless the god of thunder thor himself the man stud unless he's the one that's going to wield the infinity stone now he is powerful enough to wield the infinity stone so those four characters definitely died now what happened to the collector is kind of a bit strange because we didn't see him die from what i remember so he didn't die so at the end of avengers infinity war this scene has people confused so what happened was he got the last stone he got the mind gem he did the finger snap the infinity gauntlet kind of broke then everyone started to turn to ash and dust black panther winter soldier scarlet witch doctor strange spider-man i know that scene was so emotional drax star lord then in the post credit scene nick fury Maria Hill, they all turn to dust and then boom, Captain Marvel was notified and obviously that's to set up Captain Marvel, that's to set up the connection between how she's going to end up in Avengers 4 and it's also to clarify that in the scene when Nick Fury first met Tony Stark, he told him he wasn't the first Avenger. He's like, you're not the first 
superhero there's many in this universe you just don't know about it and that's starting the connections of how nick fury knows other superheroes so to speak so what's happened to all these souls now they're not dead because they're erased so what is actually going on in my opinion is all these characters that have been erased because we know black panther 2 coming we know doctor strange 2 is coming we know spider-man Homecoming 2 is coming. We know Guardian of the Galaxy 3 is coming. So the majority of these characters that are raised will all return in some shape or form of capacity. So what's happened is at the end of the movie, Thanos went to the soul world, in my opinion. And basically, all these souls are stuck in the soul world. Now, where this ties in with the Ant-Man story is it's been confirmed now that the storyline is basically going back into the quantum realm to save Janet, the original Wasp. So somehow they're going to get to the soul world via maybe the quantum realm or most likely the quantum realm and they're going to get to the soul world via the quantum realm and release people from the soul world and that is how they're going to get Gamora out of it. The ultimate end game is someone will have to sacrifice themselves in order to wield the soul stone. So no one else can wield it unless someone dies. So most likely the person that's going to sacrifice himself will ultimately, I don't know, be Iron Man, Captain America or someone like that. Someone that has an emotional feeling because it's got to give you a massive emotional tingle. So that's pretty much everyone confirmed died. Everyone that's in the soul world, in my opinion. And obviously the story that they said that people didn't, didn't get much screen time in Avengers 3 will get a massive screen time in Avengers 4. So we will be seeing Ant-Man. We should be seeing Wasp, although I can't remember if it's been confirmed. And we will be seeing Hawkeye. Hawkeye's probably going to be on an adventure somewhere looking for Captain Marvel because there's a lot of scenes we didn't see that are going to pay off at the end of Avengers 4. And at the end of Avengers 4, this was essentially set up Phase 4. So I'm expecting a lot of big characters to die for real because there's a big difference between being erased and actually being killed i know it's sad that loki was killed but was he we don't know yet but we do know we're going to get some scenes back to age of ultron where we get thor with the long hair we get loki with his different look we get captain america with his old shield and old suit so that is pretty much an explained definition of who's dead and who's still alive but in the soul world and where i think they're going with avengers 4 and obviously most characters will return if they were wiped out because they have sequels coming and they're not just going to kill everyone off i mean it's going to be pretty bad for the kids to go watch this movie seeing spider-man disappear i'm pretty sure some spider-man fans will cry in the crowd it was such an emotional scene so guys let me know in the comment box down below do you agree with me do you disagree with me do you even like me <laughs> I don't know, but it is pretty cool. There's so many videos that are interesting out there. So I wanted to know what you guys think. And also, quick question, what do you think the title for Avengers 4? Is it going to be Secret Invasion? Is it going to be Infinity Gauntlet? Is it going to be Endgame? Because I've dropped the Endgame word everywhere in the MCU. Is it going to be Disassembled? Which I think sounds like the best one. So anyway, guys, hopefully I didn't spoil anything for you because I did give a spoiler warning. And why would you click into a video video? that is most likely going to be tired. Deaths, all deaths, all characters coming back for Avengers 4 explained. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell button down below, because unless you've got 10 million subscribers, YouTube doesn't notify anyone about your videos. So, guys, let's try and get to 15,000 subscribers, as the channel is growing at a pretty cool pace. So, I'm going to be doing Ant-Man and Wasp videos very soon, some Deadpool 2 videos, alongside my other Mark DC videos, my Flash and Arrow videos. So, anyway, guys, you know how the, we roll on this channel. So, anyway, guys, I will catch you in another video very soon guys catch ya later